Yeah, yeah. And the American bearing beetle is one of the most endangered insects. In fact, it was the first insect put on the endangered species list. Uh, and so it used to be from the East Coast all the way out to the Rocky Mountains. And now there's really only three good populations. And there's been no uh, sightings in Ohio since 1974. All the holes are prepared and ready to go. So the next step is obviously to put the beetles in there. First, we dug some holes straight down into the ground. And then we put uh, rats into the hole for the beetles to feed on because they are carrion feeders. The reason we do that is because these are the American burying beetles. So they go underground and what they do is they, in the wild, they'll find carcasses like rodents, quail, that sort of thing. And they'll usually bury them themselves, but we're giving them a head start. So we're digging the hole for them. And then we'll give them, in this case, a rat and put a pair of beetles on there. And that's what they actually use to raise their young. So they'll lay their eggs in the rat. The larvae will hatch and it's like a live-in, it's like a live-in golden corral, you know, a live-in buffet. Oh, I volunteered for it. <laughs> I handle rats and mice and all kinds of gross stuff at work, so it's just a normal day. <laughs> so we are raising them and then releasing them so that they can breed and make little baby American burying beetles. <laughs> a lot of people only identify or tend to identify with the warm and fuzzies like animals with backbones and uh, that have fur or feathers and but really the majority of life on this planet in terms of diversity and, and biomass is going to be arthropods. Uh, we estimate that at least three quarters probably more of all known species are insects uh, with a third of those being beetles alone. You know, a lot of people don't even know they exist unless they're out looking on dead carcasses, <laughs> which people have given me a, a cockeyed look when they've seen me messing with a dead animal. They go, oh, <laughs> is that dinner tonight? <laughs> so in two weeks, we'll take about, go to about like 10 to 20% of these holes and dig them up gently and see if there are a little larva in there. And that's when there should be two weeks later, there should be larva. And that'll give us an idea of how successful the, this release has been.